Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a CUDA worksheet tutorial on solving exponential equations with logarithms. So one of the things that you're going to need for this exercise, you're definitely going to need a calculator. You can also use a logarithm calculator that's, that you can find online, um, but make sure you go and get that. So have you gotten that yet? Once you got it, okay, you're ready to proceed. So I have mine. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you are doing logarithms for the first time, my advice would be check out my meaning of logarithms video first, but I'm going to kind of quickly go over some of the highlights from that video in case you haven't seen it. So basically with logarithms, what are they? Well, we have exponential equations, and that's where we have x as an exponent. So if we have 3 to the x power equals 9, okay, I'm just focusing on this one on the left for now, we need to figure out what x is. We know that 3 to the first power is just 3 times 1, or just 3. 3 to the second power is 3 times 3, or 9, okay? And so we have our answer there. We know 3 to the second power equals 9. What if we had something like this, though? Not so intuitive. 3 to the x power equals 30. Well, we can continue my pattern. We have 3 to the third power is 3 times 3 times 3, and that equals 27. And then we'd have to go to a fourth line, and that is going to be 81. It would be 3 to the fourth power equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and that equals 81. So, obviously, 30 is not in there. So what do we do? Well, we know it's going to be some sort of decimal, and that's where logarithms come into. Um, first, with this one, if we have something like this, 2x equals 10. I'm going to kind of take a sidetrack for a second. How would you undo the times 2? To undo times 2, you would divide. How do we undo squaring something? Well, to undo squaring something, we take the square root. So if we're looking at something like this that's not so intuitive, how do you undo that x right there? And that is logarithms. If we have something like this, 3 to the x power equals 30, how we're going to undo that, I'm going to change to purple here, is we're going to, going to take the log with base 3. See, this is our base. Okay, our exponent is going to be by itself on one side of the equal sign. So here's our exponent. And then this is what's called our argument or number. We're going to put that here. And this essentially is what we're going to put into the calculator. Okay, right here. This is what goes into the calculator, and this uh, computes it for us. Okay, because it's not, it's not a, a whole number, so we need help with our calculator in order to calculate that number. Okay, so if I go to my calculator, I can go ahead and do this whole process, and I'm going to type in exactly this. Now, on my calculator, some uh, if you have a graphing calculator, you might have this math button, and then you go to, uh, and mine says log base. Okay, so yours might be a little bit different, but that's what mine says. And I can go ahead and type that in, and it gives me the answer of 3.096 rounded, okay? And that makes sense because I know it's somewhere between 3 and 4, okay? Because 3 uh, to the third power is pretty close to 30, and the fourth power is pretty far. So I know it's got to be closer to 3 than 4. And so that answer makes sense in that context. Now, that I have some background on what a logarithm is and how to use it. Let's go ahead and set these problems up and then solve them. All right, so here I have my exact same situation. We have 3 to some power equals 17. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put log base 3. I put the 17 here, and the exponent goes by itself. Remember, we're trying to solve for the exponent, so it needs to be by itself. So when you're doing logarithms, know that that exponent needs to be by itself. Okay, and then the base is the base of the logarithm. So the base of the exponent is the base of the logarithm, okay? And then that 17 just goes right next to it. So again, we can just go ahead and use this, math, and then log base, okay? That's one way to do it. Um, but there's another way to do it. Let's say you have a scientific calculator, and you're like, hey, I don't have this graphing calculator. How do I do it with a graphing, uh, with a scientific calculator? Well, you're still gonna need this log button, okay? But we can solve it with just the log button. Now, the log button on your calculator really means log of base 10. So it has a different base, but there's a way around it. What you can do is you can say the log of 17, that's log base 10 of 17, divided by the log base 10 of 3. I may have talked about this in my other video. We have, uh, that's called the common logarithm, okay? It's just, just as an FYI. So I can type this in my calculator, log base 17, 
divided by log base three. And it actually might be even faster than doing all this math button, but it's just something to consider. If you already have it stored though, with the, with the math button, it might be uh, faster. But I get 2.57 and it says Roger Anderson the nearest 10,000th. So I have five, seven, and then nine. That's gonna be, let's see, actually that's not 10,000. That is thousands. I need to go over one more. Uh, eight, nine, there we go. Okay, so 2.5789 is going to be my answer. And how we do this, how do I know to do that is when we have this little equation here, this is a property of logarithm, we put the, the base log right there and then we put this other one in the top, okay? And honestly, I think it's faster. So let's just keep using that pattern to solve more of these logarithms. So a lot of these are the same. Okay, and we know this one, uh, we can put log base nine of 49 equals N. How I'm gonna solve these is I'm gonna just use the scientific uh, calculator method, which is just log of 49 over log of nine. And I'm just gonna get an answer. And this is what you're gonna do for most of these on the front page. So log base 49 divided by log nine, and it's that quick to type it in, and I get 1.7712 rounded, and I'm done, okay? Same thing with four, same thing with five, six, all of these are very similar, okay? So I'll just do one more. This one I have log uh, base 20, R is gonna be over here, 56. So I know I do log of 56, divided by log of 20. Remember, the base goes in the bottom every time. So log 56 divided by log 20. It's relatively quick, and I get R equals 1.3437 rounded, and that equals R. All right, now, these ones look a little different, so let's go ahead and introduce how do we tackle these ones. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to divide by five. If I have an exponent, Notice how these ones didn't have any numbers or uh, oh, any coefficients or anything added or subtracted to it. And that's how I want that form to be. I want it to be in this form where I have like a to the b power equals x, okay? Or actually I should probably put a to the x equals b. Let's do that. Okay, I want it to be in that form. I don't want like times two or plus seven in there. I don't want any of that. So I wanna try to get this exponent by itself. So I'm gonna divide by five to both sides first. Once I do that, I do 26 divided by five. Again, calculator is very handy for this one. 18 to the six X power equals 5.2. Now I'm ready to proceed. I know it's gonna be log base 18 of 5.2 equals six X. Well, there's a six X there, so what do I do about that? Don't worry about it yet. We're still gonna do this on our calculator first. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me show you what that step looks like. We're getting pretty good at log of 5.2 divided by log of 18. Yeah, you can put decimals in there too. Makes no difference. So 5.2 divided by log of 18, and I get 0 0.5704 rounded, okay? Let me just go ahead and plug that in. So I have 0 0.5704 equals, and then 6x. This is just a one-step equation now, okay? You know how to solve this. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna divide by six, and that's gonna give us our answer. So once you get past the log, it's just like a multi-step equation, and that should really make it a lot more clear. So now we just divide this by six, and what I do is I just keep this stored in my calculator. Mine actually goes a few more decimal places, but I keep it stored, and then it's gonna give me a more accurate answer when I'm done. Don't try to, try to round less often during a problem. The more you round, the, the further away the answer is gonna get. So 0 0.951 rounded to the nearest 10,000, that's gonna be my answer. And I'm done. So it's really not that bad. Make sure you just take that extra step, okay? Let's move on to number 10. This one's a little different. Let's talk about what this E means, okay? So first off, you'll notice that the exponent is not by itself. There's our exponent. We have to add five to both sides. So we have e to the x minus one equals 10. Now we have log of base e. Again, the exponent goes by itself. And then we have 10 over here. So we have log base e of 10. Well, how do I get log base e? Well, this one's actually more simple than just doing log 
of uh, 10 over log of e. Okay, we can actually we actually have a button for log base e. Log base e is the same as the natural log button. Okay, so we can rewrite this expression as ln of 10 equals x minus 1. So now I'm just going to go to my calculator. I type in ln, and that's even on a scientific calculator. And I get, when I type that in, let me show you what I got. I got 2.3026. And that equals x minus 1. Well, what do I do to finish this problem up? I just add 1 to that number, and I'm done. So I get 3.3026 equals x. So you can see it's it's not much different. You just have to know that if you have log base e, it's the same thing as the natural log button, which is ln, and you just keep it exactly the same. Okay, so that's it. Let's do a couple more. Um, I think we're good on that side. Let's get to the second page. So the second page has uh, problems that are a little bit more uh, steps involved, but it's nothing different than what we've already done. So again, we want to get the exponent by itself. We subtract 5. We get 16 to the n minus 7 equals 19. From here, we know that log of base 16 of 19 equals n minus 7, the exponent. So I'm going to do log of 19 divided by log of 16, and that's going to be uh, equal to n minus 7. Okay, These two things are equivalent. This is probably the biggest uh, hint from this video, the biggest key understanding. Those two things are equivalent. And then once we get our answer for that, okay, so let me type that in my calculator real fast. Divided by log 16, I get 1.061, actually, I'm just going to round up, 620. Because, yep, that's, that is correct. And then I think that's another zero. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Yes, okay, so I get uh, zero point, oops, I forgot the six, I'm sorry, that's wrong. <laughs> zero point six two zero, there we go. And that equals n minus seven. And then I'm just gonna add seven to both sides. So I get 8.0620 equals n. And that's my answer. Now I need to keep that zero there, even though it's like, oh, that I, don't, I can rewrite a decimal and it's exactly the same. Because I'm rounding, it's important that I keep that 10 thousandths place there. Okay, I'm going to try to find, this one's got a negative number. Let's quickly do this one. So I have subtract 6, subtract 6. I have 49 equals 20 to the negative 6n. I have log of base 20 of 49 equals negative 6n. Very similar process. Log 49 divided by log 20. So I... And if you have a graphing calculator, sometimes instead of retyping it, you can just hit enter on the previous line. It will recopy everything, and then you just change the two numbers, and it'll make it a little bit faster for you. So when I do this, uh, let me write negative 6n. I get 1.2991 equals negative 6n. So I, then I just divide by negative 6. So I divide by negative 6, and I get negative 0.2165. And that equals n. So similar process, just divide by a negative number. Let's look for one with two steps. I think 16 has two steps, but let's make sure we don't spend too much more time on this. So let's do six. No, let's do 18. This is a two-stepper, but it also um, has e in it. So this is a good problem to do. We're going to add three first. Whoops, just three. And we get negative 20 equals negative 6 e to the 8n plus 8. Okay, I'm going to divide by negative 6 also. Divide by negative 6. And I got e to the 8n plus 8. 20 divided by 6. I can keep that decimal. That's going to be 3 point positive, 3.33 repeating. I'm just going to go to four decimal places. Now I set up my problem. So I have log of base e of 3.3333. I'm just going to keep it like that for now. And then 8n plus 8. This is the same thing as the natural log. And actually... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take the natural log of that. So a natural log of 3.33333. Okay. And then I'm going to hit enter. And I get uh, as 3.33, an plus 8. And I get 
actually four zero, it rounded, equals a n plus eight. So now I have a two-step equation, but again, you should be familiar with this. This is a two-step equation. I'm just gonna subtract eight from that, so minus eight, and then I get negative 6.796. Man, writing, there's so many decimal places. As you're doing this, I wouldn't go so many decimal places until the end, but I'm just writing it out just to show you exactly what I'm doing so you're not lost. 8495, and there's my answer. So you get kind of odd answers here, but these are obviously not your typical uh, exponential equations, all right? So let's do probably one more. Uh, I don't think they're much more complicated than this. Let's do one without E. Uh, this one's going to be the same. It just has a decimal. So let's go ahead. Oh, that one's, I think they're all heavy from now on. That's okay. Let's do one with E then. Um, and I think that decimal one would be pretty good to do. So let's go ahead and do this. So we're going to subtract five from both sides. So this is going to be negative 48.4 minus five. And I get negative 53.4, negative 53.4. And I get uh, negative e to the 6 minus 9p. I need to divide by negative 1 to get rid of that negative. And now I'm ready to start. I have e to the 6 minus 9p power equals positive 53.4. Uh, one of the things that's kind of important, you're never going to raise these. Uh, well, actually, for some of these, most of these I don't think you're going to these are going to be equal to a positive. So just keep that in mind. Most of these are going to be equal to a positive. Um, now I'm going to take the uh, log. I'm just going to rewrite this in logarithm form. Log base E of 53.4 equals 6 minus 9P. This is an important step. Make sure you always do this step. Rewrite it as a log. And now I know if, if it's log E, that's the same thing as LN. 53.4 equals 6 minus 9P. Just type that into your calculator, 53.4. Uh, These ones are actually easier, in my opinion. Less buttons to type. 3.9778 equals 6 minus 9p. I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides. I just type that into my calculator. Negative 2.0222. That's rounded, but I wouldn't round it until you're at, done at the end. Just trying to show you what I'm doing. And then I divide by negative 9, and I get positive 0.2247. That one's rounded. And there you go. So there, uh, there's how to do these exponential equations. I bet at the beginning you're like, these are impossible. These look super complicated. But it's really not that bad. Once you understand how to apply logarithms to these, it becomes a lot easier. If you have any questions on this worksheet or you want me to do uh, or explain one of these problems that I didn't do, go ahead and leave a comment which one uh, you need help with, and I can either like leave a step-by-step -step, uh, process, or we can come up with something to help you. Either way, I look forward to seeing you right here on West Explains Best next time. See you then.